Hallo kijkers van Shine Prize, welkom bij een nieuwe aflevering van Latest Mystery Journey. In deze aflevering gaan wij de laatste uh, case doen. De case Diamonds Aren't Forever. A curious invitation arrives at the agency. It's for a puzzle party to win a famous fortune. But who is the host? Lord Adamas? Ik ben zeer benieuwd. Ik dacht dat we de case van uh, de Praten Hond zouden gaan uh, onderzoeken. Maar blijkbaar is dat helemaal geen case. Oké. Okay. Investigate de laatste case van deze game. Miss Layton, look what just arrived in the post. It's addressed to Professor Layton. Read it out, please, Ernest. I have discovered the Richmond fortune. Now to share it out, I am arranging a puzzle-solving party to take place on Christmas Eve. Oh, nice. All those wishing to participate should come to Richmond Court. Expectantly yours, Lord Adamas. Hmm, interesting. The legendary Richmond Fortune. Richmond Fortune? It's a very famous tale here in the city, Show. There's a large palace that was built here in London by the now deceased multi-millionaire Maximilian Richmond. Since his death, the place has been deserted. People have long speculated that there must be a fortune hidden somewhere inside the enormous mansion. And there's been no end of breaking and entering by people trying to find it. It's been 10 years now since Maximilian passed away. But what's all this about a puzzle-solving party to share it out? It sounds rather queer. Do you think it's a hoax? Hoax or not, it sounds like fun. We'll go. I think you'll find it wasn't actually your name on the invitation. I expect that's because of the sign above the door. It only says Leighton, after all. I imagine whoever sent the invitation was hoping for the attendance of a great puzzle solver. In which case, the invitation landed in the right lap anyway. If there's anyone who could outstrip Dad in the puzzle-solving department, it's me. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Meteen een pratend stukje, dat is wel waar. Diamonds aren't forever. Ik ben heel erg benieuwd. Holy shit, ik heb deze nog nooit gedaan. Het is wel... Uh, het klinkt wel leuk. Oeh, filmpje. So, this is Richmond Court. Hmm. It's gone to the dogs. But you can tell it was quite something in his day. <laughs> so, Perfetti and, um, and Hastings did ook zijn? Hey. The dragons. Well, well, what do you know? Gosh, it seems we weren't the only people who had a mysterious invitation in the post. That's quite an impressive guest list. Yes, seven of London's wealthiest. <laughs> I didn't know you'd be coming too. Hello, Mr. Barnum. I see you're in very good company. I wonder why we're all here together. Yeah, it's a real head scratcher, ain't it? <laughs> I don't know what this is all about, but who wouldn't be intrigued by a note like that? I quite agree. I couldn't imagine declining such a fascinating invitation. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to Richmond Court. I am your host, Lord Adam. Hmm? Huh? I would like to invite you all to take part in a game with me. A 
a puzzle-solving game with the very highest stakes. This is crazy. Lose, and the entire fortune will be donated to the Dark Jewel Foundation. So, on the table in front of you, you will find some contracts. Sign no, what the fuck? Getting crazier. You may of course refuse if you wish. As long as you don't mind your dirty secret being exposed. Secret? Oh yeah, I'm sure they'll all jump to sign on the dotted line. This all sounds totally above board. No, oh, well, they sketch you. Promises to be quite entertaining. Yes, count me in. Oh yes, the mayor never shies away from a challenge. <laughs> what fun! What? Why not? Sounds like it's worth taking a punt on. Exactly. We dragons didn't get where we are today without taking risks. I'm in. <laughs> I am of the same opinion as you. Liza, what is your feeling? I... I think I ought to have a go. Do I sign here? Okay. Well, Lord Adamas, whoever you are, you have your wish. We have all signed on the dotted line. Excellent. So let's get started on the puzzles. Oh, er wordt nu niet meer gepraat. Well, that's all seven of our dirty signatures on the paperwork. Precisely, how is this puzzle solving party going to proceed, please? The rules of the game I have devised for you are all extremely simple. From this hallway you have access to four rooms. The red door leads to the Rosenberg room. The blue door leads to the room called the treasury. The green door leads to, uh, hope, to the hope room, and behind the purple door is a room called treasury. The Rosenberg room? And the treasury? Honestly, what is all this nonsense about? Hope and treasury? Uh, you must locate and solve a hidden puzzle in each of the four rooms. If you fail at the puzzle, you lose. And according to the terms of contact you just signed, you will hand over your fortunes to me. If you complete all four puzzles successfully, you win. In which case, you will become the heir of the Great Richmond Fortune. I hope that's all clear. Good? Then please, pick a door and begin. Well, this sounds simple enough. Ho <laughs> ho, I feel my fortune swelling already. Uh, don't be so sure of yourself, uh, Dubli. Um, I'll give you a run for your money. So, you can choose which room you tackle when. Which means the order that you go uh, at them could be strate strategically important. Ooh, okay. Oh dear, I'm really not sure which door to pick first. All roads lead to the same destination, Liza. You must solve all puzzles in the end if you wish to win. Well, that's a good point. I suppose we should simply say that the best man or woman win. All the other guests have picked a room and gone in, miss. Where do you think we should uh, start? Hmm, yes, let me see. Welcome, Miss Layton. Miss Catriel Layton. Whose is that voice? It's the same uh, person who was speaking before. It seems the mysterious Lord Adamas is welcome me, welcoming me personally. I invited Professor Layton to this event and an adjunct, uh, as an adjunctator. Okay, it's a shame he hasn't come. I'm afraid my father is busy, busy, but I'm here. Could I? Couldn't I help? There's just one thing that the ad adjudicator must do first you need to sign the contract that uh, you'll find in the middle of the room what sort of contract Ooh. ik dacht heel even misschien dat meneer adamas uh, wel uh, professor leten is dat zou best vet zijn maar ik denk het niet misschien is het wel die don paulo of zo die uh 
Die dude waar uh, Leighton altijd beef mee heeft. Oeh, we wel gaan doen zo'n ronde. Oh, look, Cheryl. Do you see how this burner swings? A swinging burner? Really? Oh, the technology. Oh, look, Cheryl. What now? Don't tell me it smells. No, there's a puzzle hidden in it. Hmm. Magical gatekeeper. Uh, this is a mysterious magical world. There are three people standing in front of a gate. A bird handler, a snake charmer and a butterfly keeper. The following conversation takes place. I am not the gatekeeper. Neither am I. I am the gatekeeper. One of the speakers appears to be the gatekeeper. Uh, but which one? Slide uh, the circle to move it. Over who you think the gatekeeper is. Huh? I am not the gatekeeper, neither am I. I am the gatekeeper. Ik snap de puzzel niet echt, want C zegt toch dat ze de gatekeeper is. Dan is, toch dat, dan is zij toch de gatekeeper, of niet? C kan bijna niet goed zijn. Everything said in conversation is true. She was telling the truth. Look carefully at the appearance of their conversation. Pay attention to the speed speech bubbles. Where is the speech bubble in question coming from? Oh. Deze vlinder is de gatekeeper. I see how to solve this now. Nice. And that's how it's done. Okay. Laten we maar naar het contract gaan kijken. This must be the contract. Let's see what it's all about. The adjudicator hereby consents to make the events he or she witnesses at this puzzle solving event known to the general public. What unusual terms. I was expecting to be sworn to secrecy, but it's the other way around. Now, Miss Layton, before you sign on the dotted line, first let's see if you were worthy substitute for your father. How many puzzles have you solved so far in your career as a detective? Hmm, well, it seems you've solved a total of 94 puzzles so far. In that case, I'm willing to accept you as adjudicator of your father in your father's steps. Sorry. Uh, so now, please sign the contract. You will be required to spread the world uh, a word about uh, what you witness here today, to make the public aware of what transpires. There, I've signed it. Oh, sorry. There, I've signed it. Is that all right? Very good. Now you know the rules. Losers lose, lose everything, and the winner takes away a great Richmond for fortune. Your job is to oversee the puzzle solving until all participants have been eliminated, or until somebody wins. So the puzzles from Richmond Court await you. Enjoy. Okay, spannend, spannend. Hmm. Hmm, let me see. All right, I've decided. We start in the Rosenberg room. Because? Because I feel like it. Cheryl, let's not forget Miss Layton's instincts have led to successful re uh, res resolution of a great many cases. I'm quite sure they guide her well now. Thank you, Ernest. So, uh, unless you have any better suggestions, sir. 
Nee. Laten we dan maar gewoon lekker naar de Rosenberg Room gaan. Here we are, in the Rosenberg Room then. It's every bit uh, uh, as ostentatious as a hallway, isn't it? Didn't someone say Richmond Court has a deserted ghost house? Well, the ghosts certainly seem to have some nice furniture. In uh, This place is swanky. I'm uh, starting to think perhaps all the rumors about this place are unfounded. Miss Layton, Cheryl, Mr. Sloan and Mr. Chance are over there, look! It looks like they're discussing something. Seriously, Grant. Uh, what are we doing here? Don't you think this whole uh, thing is a farce? Come on, Caesar. You know as well as I do that uh, what this is all about. All seven of us invited here to Richmond Court of all places. Yes, but why now? It's been years since it happened. And in any case, uh, no one else besides us seven knows what went on. True, I don't understand it either, which is why we have no choice but to agree to this charade. Come on, we are supposed to be finding a puzzle in this room, remember? Ah, dus ze willen gewoon dat het geheim niet uitkomt, daarom dat ze allemaal zo makkelijk akkoord gingen. Let's go and talk to them, I'm curious about something. Mr. Chance, Mr. Sloans, uh, I see uh, we've chosen the same room. Ah, oh, Catrell, hello. This was your choice too, was it? You haven't managed to find the puzzle yet then? No, not yet. I've been uh, looking, but uh, no luck so far. It's all part of uh, Adam's fun, I suppose, testing us to see if we can find his puzzles and let alone solve them. Do either of you know Lord Adamas? Never even heard of the name before. Nor me. I don't think any of us seven know who he is. I'll tell you one thing. I would put money on him not being a real lord. Uh, he's playing us, and I don't like that. This whole puzzle party idea stinks. But you uh, sounded uh, rather enthusias enthusi enthusiastic about this before. I must say though, the stakes are alarmingly high. True, you could win the Richmond fortune, but on the other hand, you stand to lose everything you own. It's a very risky gamble. You're right there, uh, but I've never balked at taking risks before and I'm not about to start now. Uh, if there's one thing I've learned, is that the stakes are always high in business. Success doesn't come for free. Oh yeah, I see, yes. And of course, Lord Adamus uh, did mention a secret that he would suppose if you refuse to participate. Listen, Cat, it, uh, if you had seen in business as long. Oh, sorry. If you had been in business as long as I have, you'd have more than a few skeletons in your closets, I'm sure. Absolutely. So we'd uh, appreciate if uh, you didn't ask us too many questions. Anyway, we've got a puzzle to find, haven't we? Aye. Time to stop bellyaching and start puzzle hunting. Now, that's really something, although wasn't, uh, was it it, really? What it, is it really? Sorry. I'm not a painting, is it? It's not a painting, is it? Yes, I can't even my lazing. Uh, that's stained glass, Cheryl. Haven't you seen it before? Oh, interesting. There are pieces of a glass missing and some in some places. Maybe they got broken. Mr. Richmond was extremely wealthy, Cheryl. I don't imagine he would have left something like this in a state of disrepair. Good point. Found the puzzle, have you, Catriel? No, not yet. We are just studying this piece of stained glass. Uh, but for some reason there are uh, one or two pieces for, uh, of the glass missing. Well, I did hear that Miss Rich uh, Mr. Richmond was very ill in his final years. He probably didn't uh, bother to uh, bother keeping up with the repairs on the place. Hmm, I don't know. It strikes me as odd. Uh, if it uh, was in the process of being repaired, it would have been in situ. In, in situ? Here, I well, saw well. Uh, in which case, where are uh, the new pieces of glass? 
Volgens mij liggen die hier. En is de puzzel? Het is ook nog een puzzel. Oh, what is what's this? It looked like small fragments of red glass. Glass? Oh, do be careful, miss. Don't want you to cut yourself. Don't worry, Ernest. They've got a, uh, they're not very sharp. Ah, I wonder if these are you onto something, cat? Well, I wonder if these pieces of glass would fit into the stained glass window. Yes. I think we've just discovered the hidden puzzle of the Rosenberg room. On the ball as ever, Gatriel. Well done. So what's the puzzle all about then? What's this Adamus fellow trying to stump us with? I don't imagine it's going to be easy to solve, but that makes it all more the fun. Okay. The Red Mountain. There is an unfinished stained glass window, it's called the Red Mountain, but uh, the most important part, the mountain, is missing. Can you put the pieces in uh, to complete picture? Complete the picture? Oh, wacht. Misschien is dit leuker voor jullie. Mini, mini, mip. mini, mini. Oh, yeah, you can almost swap, eh? There are several correct answers. Rotate the pieces and place them so that there are no gaps in between. No shit. Now let's look at one possible solution. First, place the uh, oblong piece in the bottom right corner of the frame. Okay. There, the stained glass image is complete. Very nice, cat. Well done. Oh, look, there's something written on the bottom of the box that the glass pieces were in. So there is. Hello, me, uh, allow me, miss. Sorry, the Rosenberg bar. Uh, sorry, the Rosenberg was barren. Nothing grew there. No one owned it. No one wanted it. Yet underground, treasure sparkled. Great story. What does it mean? Hmm, it sounds like uh, it has some hidden meaning, but hmm. There can't be any doubt uh, now, Grant. Surely it uh, must be the same Rosenberg, which would mean this Adamus knows. Alright, uh, keep your hair on, Caesar. We don't know uh, that for sure yet. Keep my hair on? Are we uh, talking about everything I've built up? My entire fortune? The tiny publishing firm I started out with. And now I'm finally in a position where I control one of London's biggest papers. I, uh, you're not the only one of us who came from humble origins. Uh, it's funny actually. Makes me think how we were back then, 10 years ago. Yes, 10 years ago. It feels like an age. I worked uh, so hard and he was... It seems Mr. Chance and Mr. Sloan didn't manage to solve the puzzle. So, they have to hand over their fortunes, unless they want to break the terms of the contract, yes. So, are we enjoying ourselves? Mm, how did you find the puzzle I set you? 
Those who solved it are invited to move on uh, to another room and take the next challenge. Those who fail, sol uh, fail to solve it have lost everything. Please leave the room and proceed to long along the road to ruin. There's a passageway over there. I expect that's what he's referring to. Okay, interesting. Losers must await in the cellars. Those still in the game, please have fun. Loser? I've never been a loser in my life! Settle down, Caesar. We didn't manage to solve the puzzle, so uh, for that reason, we're out. Come on, let's go. Understandably, on the paper at least, they've just lost their entire fortunes, but they knew what they were getting themselves into. Anyway, we must find the next puzzle. Let's go back out into the wall hall. And this is also interesting. Nice. Bedankt voor het kijken van deze aflevering. Vond je het een leuke aflevering? Doe een duimpje omhoog. De volgende aflevering gaan we eens kijken of we nog wat puzzels kunnen kraken. Adios, amigos.